This tutorial will demonstrate how you can create a horizontal drop navigation or a mega menu navigation as seen here. This functionality is meant for advanced users of ProtoShare. To learn more about working with the ProtoShare navigation, we recommend watching the navigation and tab panel videos first. Let's move into the editor to begin. While using a navigation component is ideal for standard navigation functionality, to create a horizontal drop menu or a mega menu, we need to start with a rich text or label component. Next, I'll customize the properties of my label in the inspector to look more like a navigation bar. Now that I have the appearance how I want it, I'll duplicate the label using the keyboard shortcut Alt, Option, and Drag. Then I'll update the text on my labels to represent my primary navigation. Next, I need to create a container to serve as the drop-down menu. In this example, I'll add two vertical navigation components and an image. Then I'll place the container directly below my makeshift navigation bar. Now I need to set the container's visibility as if I were creating a pop-up. I'll create a new state called Mega Menu. The first value is the default value and I don't want the menu to show by default, so I'll leave the off value and add two more values to mirror my labels. I want the container I just created to only be visible when the state is set to My Account. Now I need to set the action that will trigger the menu's visibility. I select my first navigation label and, on Hover, I want the Mega Menu value set to My Account. I've basically created a pop-up as we can see here in interactive mode. The only problem is that once I hover over the container, it disappears. I'll escape back into edit mode and adjust the state to My Account so I can work with the container on the canvas. I select the container. Because we only want the container visible when our Mega Menu state is set to the first tab, or My Account, we also want My Account to appear upon Hover. Let's reset our states and go back to interactive mode. As you can see, when we hover over My Account, our menu appears, and we can now hover over our menu and navigate through the links as well. Now let's create a horizontal dropdown for the next tab in the primary navigation so you can see that example. I'll start by using a horizontal navigation component and placing it below my primary navigation. I only want it visible when the mega menu is set to Fun Stuff. As we learned in our previous example, I also want this dropdown to appear upon Hover when mega menu is set to Fun Stuff. Now I need to set the action to make the dropdown appear when hovering over my primary navigation. Select the Fun Stuff label and, on Hover, the Mega Menu state should be set to Fun Stuff. Let's reset our states and test this functionality in interactive mode. This concludes our tutorial on how to create a Mega Menu. For additional help resources, please visit the support section of protoshare.com.